everyone. Thanks for tuning into Sims Workshop. I hope you're all having a wonderful day. So, today we're going to be talking about Black Candle Woman. Um, I wanted to like this book way more than I did. It follows three generations of women. Um, Augusta, her daughters, Victoria and Willow, and Victoria's daughter, Nikki. So apparently there is this curse among these women that any man they love will die. It's one of those like, oh, you don't think it's real kind of curses, you know? But for Victoria, it is very, very real to the point where it makes her absolutely unbearable. She did suffer a tragedy. Mickey's father did die um, in a car crash, but <sighs> I just don't like Victoria, and she's really the biggest reason why I couldn't get behind this book. Um, she's overbearing, she's controlling, she's a helicopter mom. She has absolutely no respect for her daughter. I mean, this curse is so real to her that she just wants to keep Nikki trapped in a gilded cage and it bugs the crap out of me i mean there was really nothing redeemable about her character i didn't like how she treated nikki i didn't like how she treated her sister willow there are just so many problems with her i mean she doesn't even let her daughter participate in school activities because it's just like oh she doesn't want her keeping your kids from living a life is not good parenting. Keeping your kids trapped, unable to fall and pick themselves up is not good parenting. I would love nothing more than to keep my children safe forever and always, but I'm not gonna be doing a service to them. I would be doing a disservice to, to them by not letting them just learn, you know? And that's the thing with Victoria. She just wants to keep Nikki in a gilded cage. She, oh God, she's such a, honestly, even, she doesn't want anyone to love anyone. She's just like, no, because then they're going to die. She's just like, you don't know that. I, something bad happened to you. We understand that, but you can't, keep your family members from living a life, from learning to love. I mean, it's just terrible. And she thinks she's doing everything to protect them. Like, oh, I do everything for you. Like, no, ma'am, your self-righteous attitude is not making you endearing at all. She is really the worst part about this book, and she is the reason I couldn't get it. I struggled to read this book. I struggled to read it because of her. She's just a terrible human being. She doesn't want Nikki... School and home, school and home. What does she want her daughter to do? Oh, she wants her daughter to get this type of degree so that she can follow in her mother's footsteps. She's like, oh yeah, you're just gonna, you're not gonna have a life. You're just gonna follow in my footsteps and not live. As for Nikki, uh, okay, Augusta and Willow were my two favorite characters in this book. Willow is really spunky. She's got an attitude. Is she right? A lot of the time, no. A lot of the time, she's wrong, and she's somewhat bitter, and she's somewhat resentful. But she still wants to live her life. You know, she wants to live. And she wants her niece to live, too. As for Augusta, you know, this is an old woman. She suffered a stroke. So she doesn't actually talk. She communicates, you know, through mannerisms. But her internal dialogue and the way she interprets everything that's going on around her and the way she responds to these things, that's captivating to me. But back to Nikki. Nikki has absolutely no personality. Her Anytime she talks, it's very monotone. There is no emotion in anything that she says. I heard no emotion. I, I heard no pain, no anguish, nothing. I heard no resentfulness. It's just like she's resigned to her life, which is sad. And I guess that's probably part of the point. She's just resigned to the way her mother has designed her life that 
it's just very monotone. Even those small rebellious moments where you think you sh you could feel something for her, they fall flat. It's just her entire narrative is flat. Even at the end of the novel, when everyone has made peace and they're all really learning to respect one another and learning to live their lives, again, it's just flat. As far as the storytelling goes, I didn't mind it going between each character because, again, Augusta and Willow were pretty much a saving grace for it. So half of the book I liked and then the other half I either didn't like or just didn't care for. Um, it's very episodic. It's very much like a soap opera. And I wasn't a huge fan of it. I didn't mind the flashbacks. I mean, I grew up on watching telenovelas. For the love of goodness gracious. I love telenovelas, although I haven't seen a good telenovela in quite a number of years. I think the last one was Victorinos. Let's not talk about that theme song. Um, ooh, La Pola, that was a good one. Um, but <laughs> neither here nor there. I loved, you know, loved um, telenovelas, but for some reason the episodic feel in this novel, it just made it drag. It made it feel very much like a overly dramatic soap opera half the time. And I was, I just, there was a disconnect between me and that, you know, there was a disconnect. And I wasn't a huge fan of the way the story moved and the fluidity to it. Again, I didn't mind switching between characters and I didn't mind Augusta reminiscing and going into the past. It was just how the narrative just fell into place. It was very, like I said, episodic. I felt like, oh, I could put, I mean, I guess that's a good thing. I feel like I could put the book down at any time and then pick it back up, but it felt overly dramatic to the characters I didn't really care for. And the two I did, I felt I didn't get enough screen time, so to speak. So unfortunately for me, um, it's going to be two and a half. That's me being generous. Two and a half out of five stars. I just, I wanted to like the book more. I think if Nikki had shown a little bit more passion in her narrative, a little bit more anguish, I would have been able to connect to the story a little bit more. But, unfortunately, two of the characters I just didn't care for, and the other two that I did for, again, didn't get enough screen time for me to enjoy the book as much as I wanted to. So, on that note... My opinion is my own. If you want to check out the book yourself, I will, of course, include links in the description below on where you can purchase. And on that note, please don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and share it with all your book loving friends. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your day. And as always, happy reading.